Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. This week we are taking a look at these poppin' cooking uh, DIY candy for kids made in Japan. These are some cool kits I picked up from a candy shop. One is uh, some sushi, another one is a bento. We'll take a look at one at a time here. Let's look at the bento. We got a few different things here. Fried chicken, a, a panda rice ball, sausage, egg roll, spaghetti, rice ball, broccoli. Yeah, so cute and so fun. Let's take a look at the rest of the box here. The instructions on the back. Nutrition facts here. Ingredients. So that's this one. This is the sushi. Let's take a look around here. This way. Ingredients. The back with the instructions. Grape and soda flavors. These are nutrition facts. Egg, tuna, salmon. This is going to be pretty interesting. This one flavor was white grape, lemon, strawberry. Uh, the ramen soda, grape and grape flavors. All right, so uh, let's do one at a time. Set this one aside here. This should be interesting. So let's open this up. There's a little tab on the bottom for you to open. All right, what do we have here? A little packet. It's got a nice little photo of like a bento box and a four and we have what we're making on the back all right let's open this up i've never done one of these before so it should be interesting got a couple of packets here a few packets actually they all look color coded a little fork uh this pouch thing on oh, this tray that has little inserts of where to put all the stuff all right let's see we're gonna need this back and we'll look at the back here it says to cut apart tray as shown in the picture we need this triangle cup uh, which means we gotta take this part out I do not have scissors on me. I do have a little razor blade. So I'm gonna see if this will work here. There we go. That was nice and easy. All right, step one, make broccoli. Add a full triangle cup of water to section one. Add powder from the green packet mix. It will become firm in three seconds. All right, so section one is the little broccoli area here. And I guess this is our little measuring cup for water. We do have a cup of water set to the side here. All right, so green packet, that is this one. And on it, it actually says broccoli candy powder. Triangle cup of water to section one. All right, let's see if we can do this. This is going to get a little messy. Section one. All right, now how do we mix? What exactly are we using to mix? Um, all right, uh, I found a chopstick. I'm going to mix this up. I think that's good enough. We'll just wait the three minutes out until it's firm. Set that aside. All right, number two. Add a triangle cup of water to section two. Add powder from the yellow packet and that will also become firm in three minutes. Okay, so we need our yellow packet, which is this. It is attached to the red packet. Come on, focus. All right, so we have our egg roll there, our broccoli there. Make sausage, add a triangle cup of water again to section three. All right, so this is the same 
instructions. Excuse me. Oh, making a little bit of a mess over here. Section three. We have our red pouch. On the bottom there. All right, uh, the number four, we're on to number four now. Make onigiri or a rice ball. Add two full triangle cups of water to section four. All right, so let's do this one at a time. Add powder from the blue packet. So that is this packet, the one that says rice ball on it. Add powder from that, mix until thick. All right, um, divide rice in half, form a rice ball to match shape and size of the packing pouch guide as shown in picture. All right, this one looks triangle-y enough for me. That's fine. All right. Uh, the, now this says to add powder from the black packet, which is this a seaweed candy powder, to the hollow spaces of the panda face and small square. Alright, so I don't know if I can show you guys because I don't want it to spill. But down there is what I did. <laughs> okay. Now, it says to lightly press the triangle rice ball onto the small s square. Which is this. So I'm lightly pressing it there. Okay. Lightly press the larger round rice ball onto the panda face. Oh no! It fell. Add the smaller round rice balls onto the round section and co cover it with the powder. Oh, you know what? I could have used a fork to mix. I don't know why I didn't think of that. I think that's what this is for. The fork. I finally looked at the picture. <laughs> and I, I could use the fork to mix all this. Okay. What is next? Uh, I had some leftover of this powder, so. All right, that was a little difficult. All right, next up, make fried chicken. Add a full triangle cup of water to section four. Add powder from the brown packet. Mix until, what does it say? Thick, divide it in half. Okay. Uh, divide it in half. Okay, well, where, where do we put it though? We make spaghetti, we're gonna add two triangle cups of water. Add powder from the orange packet, which is this packet. We're gonna add the powder. Put the mixture into this bag. Uh, this is going to be how like they pipe cakes and stuff. This is going to be interesting. All right, we're going to put this in the bag. This is this is work, guys. This is work for some candy. It is kind of fun though. I'll admit. That's our quote spaghetti. My hands are not. Oh, the focus is not good. So what's going on with the focus? All right, whatever. Hands are super sticky. I right, roll out the egg, remove the firm jellies from the tray and pack the bento as, uh, however you like. So I guess we'll just use this thingy. 
Let's see how this rice bowl thing turned out. Oh, this turned out pretty good. There we go. This focus is starting to annoy me. All right, let's see how the panda thing turned out. Oh, all right, didn't turn out that great because I did spill it. You can kind of see the panda face, but I did drop it a little bit, which is why it turned out that way. All right, and then we got the two ears. So let's take this out. They're just two um, balls that look like this. People usually, there we go. So put that on top, put this on top. So it looks like that. Uh, let's see this broccoli thing. I did get some of the uh, seaweed powder on it. That's supposed to look like a broccoli. <laughs> and then we have our sausage here. Ugh, my hands. I think I spilled some extra water on this, so that's why this looks more wet. All right, I'm gonna go wash my hands before I try this. So I'm gonna do that, I'll be right back. All right, we're back, let's try these candies out. I wonder if they um, tell you what flavor is what here. It just says white grape, lemon, strawberry, rum, soda, grape flavors. So it doesn't really tell you. At least I don't think so. Uh, okay. So let's try these out. All right, I'm gonna, oh man. <laughs> try the broccoli. Mm, very like soft gummy like. That might have been the white grape flavor. Right, let's try the sausage out. This is a little more because I accidentally spilled some water on it. So it's so weird because I don't expect it to taste like. Let's let's try these like, little chicken pieces. <laughs> I don't expect it to taste like how it tastes. Like, I, I know it's candy, I know it's candy, <laughs> but it's very sweet. The flavor's there, it's like candy flavor, but that's not how I expect it to taste. I mean, it's pretty cool. We just made our own candy. We made our own candy. Um, it's not bad. They are not bad. I think that was the soda flavor one, the ramen soda. But honestly, guys, all this candy kind of tastes the same to me. It's sweet. That was fun to do. It's a fun activity. That is a fun activity. Like this, like I want it to taste like a rice ball. I want this to taste like a rice ball. And then I put it in my mouth. And I'm getting like a... Oh, that might be the ramen soda flavor. <laughs> or the candy, you know? It's not bad. I'm not saying it's bad. This is very cute. It's a fun activity. Um, I'm making a mess here. My fingers are all black from the thing. <laughs> but, yeah. Fun activity to do with your kids. Even yourself. You get to make your own candy. You got instructions to follow. You can, uh, it's cute, tastes pretty good. All right, what do we have next? This is gonna be a long video, guys, I'm sorry. I'm, once again, I need to go wash my hands and then we will do this one, our sushi. All right, guys, continuing this popping cooking video, we are doing the sushi one. Uh, the steps don't look as complicated, so let's, Open this up. We got egg tuna and salmon row. Let's open this up here. Similar to the other one that we did, uh, we have our little packet here. This is empty. I'll just set that aside. All right. It looks like we have to cut open this 
thing for the measuring and I guess the table thing here. What I'm gonna do is, because I don't have scissors, I'm gonna open both sides so we can flatten this. So open that side. Oh, I guess I only have to open one side. <laughs> and we'll flatten this out. So we have our little sushi thing, measurement here. Again, we have some packets. We have a little uh, tube thing over here. Color-coded packets. The instructions on the back. All right, so step one, make some rice. Fill the oval depression one with water, then add powder from the blue packet. All right, so depression one. One A, B, and the other stuff here. All right, so we have to fill that with water. All right, next, make omelet. Add water up to the line on the side in the spiral section. Up to the line, okay. So there is a line there in the spiral section. Add powder from the yellow packet. This is the yellow packet that says omelet candy powder on it. All right, make a tuna. Add water up to line on the side in the wavy section. And actually, it is not a lot of water. Oh, you know what? It says to use this thing to add water. I didn't see that before. You know, I really should be looking at the photos. Wow, that helps a lot to make it not so messy. And more precise. That's crazy. Look at that. They, 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 they thought of everything. Add powder from the red packet. Uh, okay. I assume it's this packet. This looks pink to me, but it says tuna powder, so. Um. Dry seaweed. Spread out the black candy to match the shape of the packing pouch. All right, so we have this black candy here. Oh, we have to like, I see. It looks like this. Oh, you guys can't see that. And we have to spread out the candy. That's that's fine with me. I, I don't really, no big deal. Okay, make salmon row. Add water up to the lines on the sides of sections A and B. Add powder from the green packet to section A. Powder from the orange packet to section B. All right, so we have A and B over here. Let's finally use this tool for the water. A powder and B powder. Use the dropper to slowly add mixture B to mixture A, okay. Be careful not to mix the liquids together. And it says to slowly add B to A. So let's do, let's suck this on up. Oh, that's really cool. So when I drop it into A, they make little balls. I want to I want to try to show you guys. It's really hard to show you guys. <laughs> uh, let me maybe move the camera down. I got these wires in the way. Let's get that out of here. You see that? That's pretty cool. Okay, how to make omelet sushi and tuna sushi. Cut omelet and tuna in half. Oh, we gotta form the rice balls. All right, so let's form a little rice ball here. Let's see if I can show you guys. Not the best looking, but good enough for me. Make a second rice ball. Here's our little, here's our tuna rice ball. 
with a little uh this looks like tuna man if, if i didn't uh tell anybody it's a little shinier but it, it would it, it, this is gonna mess with my mind too all right so we have the other ones um the salmon row sushi might be a little more difficult Okay, uh, and then we could do the rest uh, with these things, but I just wanted to try a little bit. I know this video is getting very long, so I wanted to try one of each. Oh, we have to make the soy sauce. All right, let's do that last. Let's do that, let's do that. All right, half full with water dropper. Add powder from the brown packet, mix well. All right, this is the soy sauce packet. All right, that's fine. Let's try this now. All right, we have our egg roll here. My fingers are messy. This thing won't focus for some reason. There we go. I have powder all over me. Let's dip it in here. Okay. Yep. You definitely get the grape and soda flavors. Definitely. Try the salmon one. It's just like I, <laughs> my brain is like this is supposed to be rice, and that's supposed to be, or not salmon. Sorry, tuna. What am I? Ugh, I meant tuna. It, it, previously, if I said salmon before, I meant tuna. <laughs> this is the salmon roll. My attempt. Mm. Very, very sweet candy. My mind is like... It's kind of trippy because it doesn't taste like what it looks like. So, I don't know if, uh, if you're going to be okay with that. But, wow, this was fun. Very messy. But fun, fun activity to do. Candies were very sweet. Once again, guys, the, sorry for the long video, but this was the poppin' cooking. Uh, so cute and so fun. DIY candy for kids, made in Japan. Um, sorry if I pronounced this wrong, but the Tanoshi Sushi and the Tanoshi Bento. Ah, uh, this is really cool. I like that it comes with instructions in the back. Uh, it comes with everything you need to make it. Everything's color coded, nice and easy to do with like your kids or if you want to do it. E easy instructions. Comes with everything you need. Um, other than you know preparing water, you got to prepare water for yourself. But well, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you made it through this video, uh, I hope you liked it. Subscribe for more videos. Uh, check out Instagram. We just made a new Instagram. Uh, so. Uh, and nobody's on there, but I'm gonna try and make content for it. Um, yeah, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, like this video. Uh, what else? I don't probably forgot something. I don't know. If you guys have anything you want us to check out, unbox, taste, whatever, let us know in the comments. Maybe give us an email, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.